Hi guys, this is Mihai from Dian and Sharp. Today I will show you another great thing you can do with Dian and Sharp products. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel in order to get notified every time we upload a new video tutorial. And in order to do that, you only have to click on the get notified when new video tutorials are posted button that is available on blog.dnnsharp.com slash 1001 webpage. Back to today's video, I will show you how to create confirmation fields in action form. I think this is going to be the easiest and shortest tutorial I've ever made. I have here an action form, it's empty for now, but let's customize it. Now, you've probably seen a lot of forms where users are asked to type their uh, email a sec for a second time in order to make sure they type it correctly, or uh, those forms where you have to confirm you're not a robot by typing uh, a number or a code. Well, you can easily do that with Action Form now because we've added confirmation fields and you can set them up very easy just by adding text boxes. Let's add a text box and uh, name it uh, email. Again, let's add a second text box and name it email confirmation. Now, for the confirmation field, you just have to scroll down and set the confirmation of drop down. You'll set it as a confirmation of the email field. Now click save and let's refresh the form. You see? Email confirmation and email fields do not match. Now they do, and now they don't. The same, you can do this with um, fields that show uh, a number or a string, and you need the user to um, confirm. Let's say we have another text box that is called number. And add a new one, text box. Come on, which we name number confirmation. Set number confirmation to be a confirmation of the number field. Now let's go to the number field and give it an uh, initial value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's say disable it. Don't forget, you can use tokens here to generate random numbers, which is advisable. Click save and refresh the form. And you can see here the number field. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and the number confirmation field. And if we stop typing, number confirmation and number fields do not match. If we type the same value, now they're OK. I hope you like this new feature in Action Form, but don't forget it is available in Action Form 5.0.150. You'll have to download this build or newer builds in order to have access to this new feature. I hope you liked it and see you again for another great tutorial. Bye!